Hey everyone, my name is Alex, and this is a tour of my desk setup for 2018. This is where I edit my photos and videos, code, and oftentimes just relax and watch a movie. I recently purchased a standing desk from the company Foley, so let's start by taking a look at that. This is the Jarvis Bamboo Standing Desk, which in my configuration has a width of 72 inches, a depth of 30 inches, and can adjust in height from roughly 27 to 46 inches. The main thing I was looking for in a standing desk was sturdy construction, so I'm happy to report that in my opinion it seems like a very well built desk. Even at the highest height setting, it barely wobbles, and it would likely wobble even less if it were placed on a hard floor surface, instead of the carpet I have it on. On top of the desk is a bamboo surface with a very smooth texture, and while I haven't dropped anything on it yet, the bamboo seems like it'll be very durable over time. I opted to have the wire grommets installed on the left and right sides of the desk, including one power grommet which came separately in the mail, and I installed on the right side of the desk for charging my phone and camera batteries. I thought it was a nice touch that fully included a USB-C port in addition to a standard USB port for charging. On the front edge of the desk is the handset to control the height of the desk, and I upgraded to the handset with four programmable memory settings since multiple people use this desk, and it's convenient to be able to go back and forth quickly between two people's preferred sitting and standing heights. As you can see, I opted for the silver desk frame, which I think pairs nicely with the bamboo top. I also got two wire tamer cable trays, which keep all of my cables and my surge protector in place underneath my desk. Overall, I'm really happy with the Jarvis, and I would definitely recommend it. Moving on, let's talk about what's on top of the desk. Starting from the left, I have a fake grass plant from Ikea, which I think looks pretty nice, and while I'd love to have a real plant, I always seem to kill them pretty quickly. To the side of that is one of my studio monitors. These are the M-Audio AV40s, which I use for both editing audio in my videos and listening to music. I think I paid around $130 for them, which is pretty cheap for studio monitors, but I actually really enjoy how they sound. They have an aux jack on the front, which is nice if I want to quickly plug in my phone, but generally I use a Chromecast audio to play music from them. Moving to the center of my desk is my main computer, a 2014 5K iMac with a 3.5GHz Intel Core i5 processor, AMD Radeon R9 M290X graphics, and 32GB of RAM. Even though it's around 4 years old, it can still easily edit 4K video in Final Cut Pro, edit DSLR photos in Pixelmator, and render scenes in Blender. I also use my iMac to synchronize and back up hard drives, with an app called Carbon Copy Cloner that I'll talk more about in a minute. For peripherals, I'm using a standard Apple wired keyboard, along with a Logitech MX Master wireless mouse. I really like both of these products because in my experience they're really comfortable to use for long periods of time, however the Logitech MX Master disconnects from my computer all the time when I use the USB receiver, so that gets pretty annoying. To the right of my iMac is the other studio monitor, along with two 4TB Western Digital hard drives, which store an archive of my vacation photos as well as my YouTube videos. I put all of my photos and videos on one of the drives, and then I use Carbon Copy Cloner on my iMac to automatically back up all of my data from the first drive to the second drive every day. All the way to the right of my desk, I have an IKEA desk light with a LifeX light bulb that I can control using my Amazon Echo Dot. I like the LifeX bulbs because they don't require a hub to connect to the internet like some other bulbs do. Two other things that are almost always on my desk when I'm home are my Bose QC35 II headphones, which I use for listening to music, and my 15-inch MacBook Pro, which I take to college. So that concludes my desk setup tour for 2018, and as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one.